Good morning. Here we are at the Chapin Pass Trailhead. We're pretty high up, elevation 10,640 feet. And we're going for an awesome hike today. Gonna attempt the CCY route. That's Chapin, Chiquita, and Ypsilon. All three peaks in one day. Chapin's 12.5 something. Chiquita's just over 13. And Ypsilon's 13.5. Looking at probably a total elevation gain of over 4,000 feet today. Um, it's no joke of a hike. A lot of talus, a lot of rocks to go over, very little dirt trail. But the views from the, the summits are amazing, especially Ypsilon. Wow. Mind blowing. We're looking at a start time of 635. I'm predicting to be on Ypsilon at least by 11. If I'm not up there by 11, boy, I need to get in better shape. If you want to do the summits, you got to go to the right. Right there. We're going to go through the trees for a minute and then pop out to where it's nice and open. And we'll see the mountains and we'll get to see what we're going up. It's funny, driving up, I was listening to the radio. And they're talking about how hot it's going to be, 100 degrees, 96 degrees, and just all this crap about how hot it's going to be. But you know what it is right now here? It's 42. It's a little chilly. We're looking at a high of maybe 60, around 60. Looked like it was going to be mid-50s, so I don't have to worry about that 100 degree heat up here. As a matter of fact, I brought my thermal ball with me even, just in case just in case looking at the back side of Marmot Point Point. and you know how I said it was 42 degrees out here kinda chilly well when you start going up stuff like this you get warm quick we go he's just getting in the light for me he wants to be a YouTube star sorry buddy but my videos only get about 20 views I got to get this hike going. We're at the end of the trail. From here on out, it's unmaintained. And there's a couple ways we can do this. If we go to the right, it's a little bit longer, but it's going to take us across the face of Chapin. We can hit that first, go over Chiquita then Ypsilon and then we can come back this way but basically if you go this way it takes you right up a direct route right to the saddle of Chapin and Chiquita so if you want to get over to Ypsilon and that's all you want to do I would I would recommend going this way but since we're going for the deluxe tour let's go ahead and start off to the right we'll come back on the left trail when you go to the right I would say it's a little more scenic you get to see a few more features when you go this way this trail doesn't mess around it gets you up there quick so right here we got the slopes of Chapin and you swing it on around the bump on the right Chiquita and then the ramp going up to Ypsilon Wow and again Perfect weather. Beautiful. God, I love Colorado. Hey, buddy. 
You're trying to eat my shoe? <laughs> he slobbered on my shoe. He's back again. What did you want, buddy? Well, that's the bravest pike I've ever seen. You gonna sneak attack me from behind? What are you doing? Hey, you gonna buy me some new ones? Hey! He's sitting on my foot. Hey! Hey! You gonna eat my shoe? Ooh, little rascal. Hey! Stop eating my shoe! Hey! You made a little drool spot. Why are you eating my shoe? Buddy, buddy, hey. Stop. Got your pika drool on me. Stop! <laughs> Buddy, I could sit here and play with you all day, but I gotta get this hike going. Okay, buddy, I gotta go. I know you wanna eat my shoe all day, but I gotta go. Pike a man. Pike a man. You are a cheeky one, aren't you? Buddy, I gotta go. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> I love the animals. Okay, and here's where that middle trail comes up. It comes up right here. We're gonna be going that way back. But it comes to this four way intersection. Straight ahead, that goes up the slopes of Chiquita. And if you pan over here, this goes up Chapin. So we're going to be heading this way now. We're going to get that first C, and then we'll come back down this way and go do Chiquita and Ypsilon. Now I'm about ready to chill in this little fort for a second. Actually, this one's a twort, because it's a 12-er. This is the view, and this is what I've been looking at. And right up there, got the Summit Marmot. There he is. That's how you know you're at the Summit. You got the Summit Marmot. There's even a registry to sign. Awesome. Don't. Can't sign it pins all screwed up I tried to take it apart maybe see if I could just like get the point out of there to write on the thing but it's it's hosed up I need to keep the pencil in my backpack for these kind of situations dang it
I mean, the only thing I can sign this paper in right now is blood, and I'm not, I don't think I'm really ready for that at the moment. I mean, this is just Mount Chapin. We're only 12,500. Uh, darn it, doohickey. Summit sandwich in the house. Mm. Another registry that I can't sign because there's no pen or pencil. Darn it! And that's looking over at Ypsilon. We got that next on the agenda. Not sure why somebody built a fort right there. Cause that ain't the top yet.
like that 360 NASA. <laughs> On the summit of Ypsilon. This is sweet. Second time I've been up here. Right now I got the summit all to myself, which means I got to claim the fort up here. So I got the windbreaker, I got the prime spot right on the summit, and I got the best view. That's the Ypsilon Summit Marmot right there. Super Zoom time. I got the long hike back. back in the trees and you'll never guess what I just passed uh, I was coming down this middle trail and up ahead of me I could see two people you know way up there and one of them had a dog but as I get closer I notice it's like a seeing eye dog and the one guy that's going real slow is is like totally blind that's unbelievable I mean we're talking 2,000 feet up 12,500 feet, you know, above sea level, and he hiked to the top of Chapin, and I'm just like, wow, that's amazing, man. So for him to do that, wow, hats off, man, props to you, you, man, he owns the day up here. I'm still blown away by the, by the blind gentleman that did this uh, hike. I mean, that, that's the type of stuff that needs to be in the newspaper. You know, not all this fear porn. It needs to be good stories like that because that's like the most amazing thing I've probably ever seen in my life. I mean, if somebody tried to stick a blindfold on me and say, hey, get to the top of Mount Chiquita, good luck. I'll just send one guy with you to spot you. I mean, wow, I, I couldn't do it. And especially how he got up this that crazy staircase. I mean, wow. I'm just totally blown away, man. You know, like I said earlier, today is his day, man. He he is the king of these mountains today. Right here. Somebody want to put a blindfold on and try that? I don't think so. I'd, be, I'd end up in the hospital. Wow.
My mind is completely blown right now that that guy did this. Unreal. I mean, there's loose rocks on him and stuff. It's like he'd go sliding off so easily. Look at this. Look at this. A blind guy went up this? Are you freaking joking me right now? My God, I don't even know how to get down. Good Lord. I had to use a hand just then. And it's not like there's just that one flight of those stairs. No, there's about six of them. There's about six of these staircases that look like they should be in a Tim Burton movie. Totally wonky, totally haphazard, covered with loose dirt and rocks. Mm. Oh man, almost done. All right, we're back at the cars, we made it. CCY hike in the books, done. Awesome hike. I'm really glad I decided to get out of bed at four o'clock this morning instead of laying there. I was laying there going, do I really want to hike 4,000 feet today? I don't know. So anyways, until the next hike, y'all. Peace. Peace.